talk to you about DHMO. DHMO is found everywhere. It's in the sky, it's in the ground, it's even in our drinking fountains. And what's most controversial about it is its uses. It's used in animal research laboratories, uh, abortion clinics, torture, even terrorists use it. So it's a very, very important subject to talk about. Statistics from the Center for Disease Control tells us that more than 3,000 people in 2004 died from DHMO. And about 7,000 dogs died per year. Just like I'll forget you. Now let's look at what people think about DHMO. Right, Lucy? DHMO has been found in every single um, uh, instance of school violence. How does, what do you think of this? Um, that's kind of scary that this one thing is like involved in like every single case. Um, it kind of freaks me out actually because it's like everywhere and you never know where it is. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of freaked out. I feel that this is a major problem, and seriously, if we don't do something, I don't even know what kind of school this is. I know we're running a great school, Dr. Mel is like the best, so he's definitely going to do something about this DHMO. That uh, dihydrogen monoxide is racist, and it should be banned from schools. Um, I think clearly it's racist against white people. Yeah, it's ridiculous. You see, um, I feel that even though I think you shouldn't keep my in school, but we still, this is a byproduct, we can't help that much. It's a byproduct, as long as it's in gas, it's impossible to contain. Yeah. So it's, even if it is better for the environment, it's not going to harm people unless people absorb it in mass quantities. So. Okay. It really surprised me that it was in Starbucks, because I drink Starbucks all the time. And then I heard that, like, it's in your drinking water, and you can die from it if you, like, choke on it or something. That's what this girl told me. And that I was like, what the hell, heck? <laughs> I was like, what the heck? Like, you can die from, like, choking on water. I choke on water all the time, and I thought I was going to die. So, get rid of it. Did you know DHMO has been found in the water that, in Africa, that children and adults drink? How does that make you feel? It makes me really upset because thousands of people are dying every single day of something that we use on daily products. Um, I think they should do something about it um, fast because I read your pamphlet and a lot of people are dying from it. But I should take action. I know that and it makes me feel pretty bad because all these kids and people are drinking it and could be dying. How do you feel knowing that it's on our cafeteria food? I feel very uncomfortable. I think I might bring my lunch when I'm home. I don't get it. What's this disgusting? How do you feel about it? Yeah. It's like, wait, what is why? It makes me irascible. It rates. Because I drink Poland Spring, and the only real thing I actually buy from the cafeteria would be coffee. And they're like jacking up the prices on that. You know that woman charged me like a dollar twenty-five for coffee the other day. And there's DHMO in the coffee. And there's DHMO in the coffee. My take on DHMO is that it's very bad, and I hate it. I hate the cafeteria because it charged me a dollar twenty-five for the coffee, and that coffee is DHMO. Cafeteria. I think that's kind of scary. That like cancer and shit in our cafeteria. Food. Yeah. That kind of scared me. I'm gonna bring the home from the home. weird. Okay. No, um, to tell you the truth, the other day I bought a slice of pizza and I threw it out because I remember that you guys told me they use it to heat up their food. No, I didn't want to eat it anymore. I'd rather not eat cancer. Along with asking people what they thought about DHMO, we also asked their solution. Let's go. What do you think we should do to get DHMO out of school? Um have like a mass cleaning day. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Okay. Like mass cleaning day. Like clean up the okay. water? Thank you. I don't know what we can do at the moment. Cause there's, you know, a lot of farmers and you know, people who use stuff that are really like self-centered and you know, they just want to make money and they don't really want to change. They don't really want to like, they want to save their old habits. 
Yeah, it's really scary. Like, who knows? It's an invisible killer. Like, why would you want to have this in our school? I think we should have, like, a sanitation. I have no idea what it does. <laughs> um, I think that we need to find better water and that they shouldn't, they shouldn't be put on our fruit and they shouldn't be placed in any, um, any of the stuff that athletes drink. They should really just, like, okay. not allowed. We should check, make sure that the foods and water we're drinking and other things are do not have it, and we do not die. As you have seen, DHML is a very important issue in our society, and we need to find a solution, whether it's by doing mass cleanups or simply learning more about it. So now it's your turn to join the fight against DHML.